Paisley. I've been shoeing horses almost 30 years now. I started as a junior in high school. I shoot mostly hunter jumpers. For a large part of my career, I did a lot of Western Pleasure horses and rangers. I do less and less of them all the time, more English. We're usually pretty much in Bucks, Montgomery, Hunter, and County, New Jersey. Furthest of our five week turn is probably about an hour and a half from the house. Um, then we do do three to four trips to Florida and have Cal area. So this trailer we got at the very end of 2003 or right early in 2004. Friend Chizzy uh, helped me out with it. He had the idea for most of the layout of the interior. Um, he made it work. Uh, I have a, I'm really, 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 really a weenie when it comes to cold weather. In Pennsylvania it gets cold more than it stays warm, I think. So, and I got tired of everything being wet. So, there's a couple guys in the area that had trailers. I was always, uh, it's too much, it's too much, can't get around, can't get into places. Um, I literally made a decision after my hand freezing to the ammo for the last time that I'm not going to be working setting up on the ground in the snow anymore. And never look back. I have one stop in at that time that I couldn't get the truck and trailer into. It really didn't inconvenience me. It was a little bit of a learning curve at the beginning, trying to figure out how to back up all these places and do different things. But once once that got sorted out, it's been I would never go back to working on the ground in this part of the country again for me. The soap container which now holds fly spray and a small thing of soap used to hold one of those Gojo containers. But uh, it's nice because it's right at the back of the trailer all the time if you need it from the farm. And we put a buffer there to sharpen knives. Uh, every time I go to a place and somebody sees a trailer for the first time and they're standing at the back talking to me about it, they're like, oh, that ammo's going to fall off of there because it's set crooked. I turn that ammo that way because I can see in the forge where I'm standing next to it and 90% of the time I work with help and it gets me out of the way so that it can be in and out behind me and not restrict the flow of moving. So we turn that that way so I can be working here and Steve can jump in here and sharpen his knives if he has to if he's you know, pulling shoes and cutting some stuff down while I'm working at the anvil. One thing about not working around a truck is the layout's got to be flow if you have more than one person because you're tripping over each other all the time. Then we did the band saw, which I did not have in my first truck, which is a lifesaver. We ended up with sizing and the different stuff, so we just had Brent just drilled a bunch of holes in it and just put bolts through them and it keeps them separated so they're not migrating into one another. And if you have need more or less, we just adjusted them. A lot, there's a lot of days where three or four days I wouldn't go home, so I would go from farm to farm and work in an area and stay there. Did a lot of quarter horses and, and I wanted an office space. Um, now I, have, I run an app on my phone to do my billing and all that, but back then we used it, the actual software from uh, for the head at the time and I needed a place for the computer. So he came up with this plan and it basically allows me to keep a laptop right here plugged in to the printer, copy your printer, have all the office supplies, little mini office. I told him I wanted something underneath it to put some sort of something that I could sit on. He came up with this unique idea. It uh, just tucks away, closes it up, stays out of the work area. We're grinding and drilling and everything in the trailer. And just keeps the dirt out of the laptop and everything's right here. Even when I was struggling to pay for it in the beginning, I never regretted having it for sure. And now you get old and do this a long time and you look back and you go, well, oh, that, was, that was a smart move to do. You know, 